Being one of the most acclaimed truck series from the German firm Mercedes-Benz, Unimogs enjoy great worldwide prestige and reputation as exceptional multi-purpose units. Their manufacturing can only be done with specialized machinery and tools, following a process that has improved since the first Unimog was built in 1948. Despite this progress, and unlike many other companies that have changed their industrial processes to more modern ones, human intervention remains key. Quality that Unimog models have inherited since their development in the late 40 ISS is their construction based on a high strength body mounted on a complete frame. All structural components are mounted on these frames, including hydraulic and electrical lines, as well as the powertrain systems and the selected body specific to the truck. Before each component is assembled, it is owned and verified by expert mechanics, as the microsystems of each component are vital for correct operation. The production process of these trucks is designed in such a way that the progressive assembly of small components shapes the structure to support the rest of the components. As all these components, hydraulic and electrical lines are installed, some special parts, such as the suspension, a key component in these units, are also installed. Being the heart of each truck, the engine requires prior preparation before its assembly on the chassis, installing some necessary accessories such as the alternator and hoses. The expertise of the mechanics involved plays a fundamental role as the correct installation of each of the engine's mechanisms is vital for everything to function as it should.
Due to the characteristics of this type of heavy components, these truck factories are built to include machines like cranes that allow these jobs to be carried out. To continue with the construction, the external elements are installed once the mechanical components are in place, again relying on the overhead cranes. The first large piece installed on the frame was the cabin, which was previously assembled with parts like the radiator, following the appropriate assembly and supervision criteria. Likewise, the installation of more body elements is the next step to complete the construction of these trucks with elements such as moldings and the tires themselves. In addition to some purely aesthetic moldings, this is one of the most important steps as it involves the placement of both Mercedes-Benz and Unimog emblems. After the installation of the last elements, such as the front grill and some other external components, it can be said that the work is finished, not without some final steps. This final step is nothing more nor less than performing a series of safety and functional tests to reaffirm the extraordinary qualities of each Unimog truck. The tests consist of subjecting each unit to stress conditions that, in theory, should be normal in their routine tasks, since they are vehicles for heavy duties. During the execution of these tests, all data is collected using specialized measuring instruments and laboratory machines in order to analyze the truck's behavior. After completing the tests and analysis, the units perform a small field test before being processed for shipment to dealerships and customers.
In contrast somewhat with the philosophy of the German brand, the North American heavy-duty truck company, Freightliner, has opted to automate some of its production processes. This automation is directly related to contributions to the process that involve the handling of heavy materials and the application of chemical treatments. The use of robotic systems is primarily involved in performing some tasks where high precision is especially required, such as in repainting work. However, tasks that directly involve the assembly of components and the supervision of their operation are activities where human intervention is indispensable. This combination of humans and machines has made truck construction tasks much more efficient and effective, optimizing production times on the assembly lines. Most Freightliner trucks are designed to be demanded in heavy transport tasks, which is why they can be equipped with high-power diesel engines between 350 and 650 horsepower. After completing the assembly of all internal and external components, a meticulous quality control inspection is the final stage before these units are ready to travel hundreds of kilometers. <laughs>